Guilty plea. A woman accused of impersonating a missing girl is sentenced for the crime. The Northside murder. Today, police look for help in finding the killer of a 29-year-old man. And taking the stand, a panel set the date for Condoleezza Rice to answer to the public about the 9-11 attack. From Indiana's news leader, this is Channel 13 Eyewitness News at noon. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Eyewitness News at Noon. I'm Rory Johnston, in today for Bruce Cox. And I'm Pat Carlini. Thanks for joining us. Topping the news today, a Kansas woman says she is guilty of impersonating a missing Indiana girl. Donna Walker pretended she was Shannon Sherrill last year. This morning, she accepted a plea deal in court. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Sands has more on her appearance in court and her sentence. In Boone County Friday, Donna Walker walks to court to accept a plea deal. By admitting she's guilty but mentally ill on one felony and one misdemeanor count of attempted identification theft and false reporting, she gets four years probation and limited jail time with credit for time served. She'll serve nine months total. She was arrested at the end of July last year, so she should be released sometime near the end of April. We believe that it's a, a just resolution to this matter. It's, it's fair given all the circumstances. Walker, who's from Topeka, Kansas, claimed she was the missing Shannon Sherrill last summer. The young girl, six at the time, disappeared 18 years ago from her family's Thorntown home. I feel I've lost my daughter three times in the last 18 years. First time when it happened, then when we found out she wasn't, and then it's just I thought maybe she might know something. I've been waiting 18 years to find my daughter. I thought she was coming home, and she's not. In court, Walker showed little emotion. The judge reminded her of how much pain she caused and ordered mental help. Donna Walker's plea deal gives the family of Shannon Sherrill some closure, putting this painful chapter of their lives behind them. But it doesn't answer what's on the minds of many here, what really happened to Shannon. From Boone County, Alex Sands, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Now, Walker could have faced up to four years in prison if convicted if 12 felony counts filed against her last year. Prosecutors dropped 10 of the charges when she agreed to the plea deal. A murder overnight on the near north side, and now police ask the public to help find who's responsible. A neighbor found 29-year-old Kevin Crenshaw's body in an alley early this morning. It was in the 2300 block of Sheldon. Police say someone shot him once in the head. They're now talking with relatives and friends to find out what may have happened. Those who live nearby say Crenshaw was a good guy who grew up in the area. It's a tragedy. I'm sorry that it have happened because I know the family, and even if I didn't know the family, it's still bad any time one of our youth of today died. And I'm just sorry about it. I really am. If you have any information, you're asked to call IPD's Homicide Division. A rape charge against a school employee...